We all know the story at this point. We're absolutely drowning in plastic waste. And almost half of it is just packaging. People buy a product, unwrap it, toss the packaging, and repeat over and over again. It is a giant waste. The truth is people want the product, not all the plastic. Luckily, there's another way, reuse. And now with 175 governments negotiating a global plastics treaty, we could supercharge the transition away from single-use packaging. People around the world have been building reuse systems for years. Some have done it forever as a cultural tradition. Others have just recently turned to reuse as a way to reduce their plastic waste. The idea is pretty simple. Instead of delivering products in disposable plastic, businesses create durable and reusable packaging that gets returned to them and used over and over. Instead of throwing away bottles, they get refilled. Instead of trashing food takeaway containers, they get washed and reused. And rather than tossing the pouch your delivery arrives in, it gets put back into service. Brilliant, right? Establishing and scaling up reuse systems could dramatically cut the single-use plastic that ends up in the environment. In fact, researchers from the University of Portsmouth recently outlined a roadmap for eliminating unnecessary plastic packaging in everything from sporting events to e-commerce to how we shampoo. Most importantly, they showed reuse systems are possible everywhere and for most products. So what can the governments negotiating the plastics treaty do? First, we've got to agree to a clear definition of what reuse really means. Because slapping a reusable sticker on a plastic bag and calling it a day just won't cut it. Second, we need all governments to enact policies that incentivize the shift to reuse systems and provide the financing to help them grow. That's everything from single-use plastic bans or taxes on virgin plastic production to green procurement policies and reuse targets for specific sectors. Investing in reuse will actually save governments money over the long run because dealing with all that throwaway plastic costs tons of money that could be better spent on things like education and public health. Third, we need some standardization in packaging so that different reuse systems can work with each other and with existing transportation and washing systems. That way, a reuse system for cups and plates could work for many restaurants coffee shops, and even event venues or sports arenas. Finally, we need to make reusing packaging or refilling a bottle easy and affordable for everyone and ensure the growing reuse economy creates jobs and other community benefits. The good news is citizens from Jakarta, where I live, to Seattle, to Paris, are hungry for solutions to the plastics crisis. Now, it's our leader's turn. It's time for governments to get serious about promoting and investing in reuse systems. A plastic-free future is possible, but it won't happen on its own. So let's get going.